Okay, now we're gonna prepare churro. For to do that, we need the ingredients that you see now on the screen, and the full list. You also can get it um, under this video clip. Now, to do churro, we need something actually to push the mixture and to keep it a shape. Okay, none of this is gonna be helpful because this is for cake decoration. It's not gonna do the job. We need something better than that, and it's nothing better than what is called a churrera. A churrera is made special to do churro. This is a very old one. You can push the mixture with that and comes to the other end. But it's very effective. But now we can get something better because the churrera is from the 1930s. Now we can buy something like that. Now this one is very good because it contains a lot of mixture. You can put a lot of mixture inside the churrera, and also you don't have to push it because it's got a thread so what do you do I'll show you now just put the lid and you just turn it just by turning the mixture will come out on the other end with the shape of the churro this machine is very strong and comes with different ends so you can change the end to do different things not just churro now if you are not an Spanish speaking country you can find it in any uh, almost any Spanish shop now we started pu putting uh, one cup of self rising flour and one cup of normal flour to that we add a teaspoon of salt and we start to mix all the uh, dry ingredients we put it first and we mix it well to that we add a tablespoon of oil and two and a quarter of boiling water cups of boiling water the water have to be boiling not warm okay now we mix it with the uh, slowly slow with a spoon and then after that when it's uh, ready we mix it a little bit not too much with the hands you have to be careful because it's very hot and you can burn your hands you can't let it cool down because if you let it cool down it makes it very hard to uh, for the machine because the uh, hotter it is the easy is one to work with it with the mix and you can keep it the shape very easily when it's cold, it's extremely hard. Now we fill it up about three quarters, the machine, no more than that. And then we grab a tray, we put flour, and we start to put the mixture. And that's a churro. A lot of people do it directly to the fry pan, but I don't suggest to do that because if you do that, uh, when the, uh, the, the actual churros fry on the pan, they start to split oil and you can burn yourself so this is a safer way to do it do it on the tray first and from the tray you do it to the fry pan now we do all the chura we fill it up the machine again and this is it we let it cool it down for at least 10 minutes to make sure it's cool before we start frying at the same time we grab a bowl or something and we put sugar on it this sugar we're gonna use it I use casta sugar thin sugar we're gonna use it to put on top of the churro when the churro is ready so when the oil is ready hot enough we put the churro from the tray to the fry pan no need to cook too much when it's ready on one side we turn it around and then we try to remove as much oil as possible and that goes into the sugar from the sugar goes into the plate again we try to remove as much oil as possible to the sugar and to the plate okay that's churro I hope you enjoy for more recipes Please visit teoscooking.com. Thanks for watching.